Enterprise Management 360. Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Chat. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really looking forward to be speaking with Craig Summers, who's the UK Managing Director at Manhattan Associates. Craig's joining us to share his expertise on the technologies that are underpinning retail. So let's go ahead and find out what he has to say. Craig, thank you so much for joining us today. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Delighted to be here. Great. So let's get straight into it. The retail industry has changed significantly over time with the evolution of technology. So what are the main priorities for businesses today in terms of their retailers and what role does technology play in these? Um, I think I'll start with the role of technology because I don't think you can unlink retail from technology in today's world. Most retail journeys start on somebody's mobile phone and they either end in a high street store or end online or have a combination of all of them. So if your technology doesn't allow you to be seamless like that, then that journey is, is, is either disappointing, broken or fails. So technology is kind of the underpin that everybody lives with, even if they don't think of themselves as a tech company. Technology really is the underpin and the enabler. And the more stop, start or broken points there are in that journey, then the less the less satisfying the customer experience is, and thus from a retailer point of view, it probably costs more money and it probably risks losing sales. Absolutely. And retail is ever-changing with thanks to newer technologies and customer expectations and much more. So how can retailers ensure that they're flexible and adaptable enough to keep up with the new trends? There's a very good um, Deloitte report at the moment, look at retail trends at the moment, and it's estimated this Christmas something like 59% of shopping will be done online. That's quite a challenge if you're the high street. How do you compete with that? How do you stay competitive? I think whether you're a pure, pure play or you're an omnichannel retailer, I think actually it is down to the core basics, which again, this report really pricks up that, that, that we're all motivated by product, price and convenience. The question then is, how do you differentiate yourself in those? And the only one, you can, you can be the cheapest, if you like. People don't always aspire to that. There's places for that. You can have the best product. People don't always buy the best product. They buy the product they want. So the question then becomes, is it about convenience? And is that a big motivator? And I think if you're buying something that's fairly commoditized, then you want that to be a really easy, quick process, whether you go into the store, pick up, buy it, go with very little interaction without having to cure the till, being able to potentially pay somebody who has a mobile device in front of you that you can just buy, touch and go. And if it's in online, you don't want to have many clicks to get there. And the challenge that, that retailers have, of course, is quite often as consumers, we're more informed about the product we're buying um, or the stock availability in that individual store than the store associate that we bump into as we go in. So, so I think enabling and, and empowering, um, empowering stores or the high street to be as knowledgeable and powerful as, as their web presence is a really important. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Tech Chat and thank you once again to Craig for the insightful discussion. For more great content, make sure you head on over to em360tech.com or follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn to make sure you're staying in the loop.